Hey guys, it's Tiff. Thanks again so much for checking out my video. Today I would thought I would do something about a year too late. I didn't have my channel a year ago and I wanted to do something kind of more fun to get me out of my shell a little bit so that if you don't know me, you can get to know me a little bit better. And this is the vegan tag, which I found just by searching the vegan tag on YouTube. So I haven't actually looked at the questions. I wanted it to be kind of a surprise. Obviously I kind of glanced at them because I had to copy and paste these into a Word document. But for the most part, these are gonna be a total surprise. Let's get started. The first question is, when slash why did you go vegan? I went vegan almost exactly a year ago and it's kind of a weird story. It kind of happened on accident because the place I was working was having basically these free health checkups and I decided that I wanted to do it just to see what my health looked like and have my blood drawn and all that kind of stuff. They weighed me, whatever. For my blood results, they actually told me that I was in amazing health and doing perfectly well and right within normal range for health and weight and all that kind of stuff. And she asked me if I was vegetarian and I was like, no. But that sort of got me thinking. It put like that little nugget of a spark of something in my brain. And so when I went home, I started looking up vegetarianism and of course, just by searching that, I came across a lot of vegan stuff and I started learning about the vegan movement and of course it took me into animal abuse and all this kind of stuff. And I went vegan the very next day. I saw stuff that I didn't know anything about. It shocked me, I was upset by it and that's my vegan story. That is how I went vegan. Completely random, but I am so eternally grateful to that nurse who took my blood and decided to make that comment because that is the whole reason why I'm here today. What or who inspired me to go vegan? I mean, I already kind of told you my story, but I suppose in doing more research, if I remember correctly, actually, the first vegan YouTuber that I came across just when I was very first searching was Kalel. I don't really watch her that much anymore, but I think that she posted a video about animal abuse and kind of posted like a little clip of a short little piece of animal abuse and so that's I think how I first got inspired which is kind of random or but hey does it really matter I mean I'm here so favorite vegan documentary there's so many to choose from probably I mean I love cowspiracy I love uh, what the health I think before the flood that Leonardo DiCaprio one also talked about veganism a little bit that one is also really good I think the video that I first watched, which I, I'm gonna include this in the documentaries because this is the first video that I watched, and it was 101 Reasons to Go Vegan. It's just a YouTube video. That one kind of sold me, so I'm gonna say it's that one because that one is the first one that inspired me to do it in the first place. What vegan diet do you follow? Well, I would say that when I first started, I was more of a junk food vegan. I would just basically substitute real animal products for like the fake meats and cheeses and things like that. Um, I don't really do that anymore because I feel like that was just a way to sort of wean me off animal products. And after that I just got kind of bored with it. I will throw that stuff in here and there when I'm craving it, but for the most part now I would call myself more on the side of the spectrum of a whole food plant-based vegan. Although I do still eat that kind of stuff every now and again. I will buy the vegan hot dogs because I just think they're really good. Especially for barbecuing or something and my husband is making like a steak, I'll have him barbecue me a hot dog or you know, whatever. But for the most part, I would call myself Whole Foods plant-based with a little bit of, a little bit of junk in there. Is anyone in your family vegan? Well, a few days ago I would have said no. But just a couple of days ago, my brother told me that he saw What the Health and he wanted to go vegan, which he's the last person on the face of the earth I would have ever expected that from. I hung out with him about three weeks ago for a week and I talked about it a little bit and he wanted nothing to do with it. So the fact that that documentary did that, it must have been pretty powerful for him. So I guess now I could say that someone in my family is vegan. I don't know if he'll stick to it, but just the fact that he saw that and got like a little bit of a spark of interest in it, I think that's really awesome. And that's really all I can ask for, so yeah. He's, I think, the only person in my family. 
do you know any vegans in real life? Yes, absolutely. I have a friend who also just went vegan from that movie, my brother. Um, and then I have a friend that I met several years ago when we studied abroad together. She lives in New Jersey. I am in Oregon, of course, and she's vegan. She actually came to visit me a few months ago and we had the best day. We went hiking, we did this whole vegan day. It was like probably one of the best days I've had in a really long time. But I love her. Hi Maxine if you're watching. Love you. She's so fun. I love her. Favorite vegan dishes? Hmm. I love pizza. I love making curry. I love potatoes. I love making sandwiches. I love lettuce. I mean, I'm growing a garden right now, so I've got a ton of veggies that I love to use. I'm gonna go ahead and say pizza because I love bread and I love what all the different kinds of things you can do with pizza. So let's go with pizza. Is this a real question? Where do you get your protein? Is that really on this tag? I'm not even gonna answer that. <laughs> what is your stance on buying cruelty free when their parent company isn't? So this is a part of my experience as a vegan that I'm not like 100% vegan in I would say because I'm not really in the place yet where I'm buying completely vegan products. I would say that I do strive for buying cruelty free but I don't always strive for vegan and I guess that's just because of honey. Honey is in a lot of skincare and beauty products and things like that. I don't always skip out on the honey, I know that's bad, I know some vegans completely cut out honey altogether. I'm kind of up in the air about it. Uh, I do the best that I can, but it's hard because a lot of companies sell in China and in China you have to test on animals. I don't understand that, but that's just the way it is. And I feel like if you try to be 100% cruelty free and not pay any money to these parent companies, it would be really hard to buy anything. Some people prioritize that better than others. I'm not so great at it. I'm always working at it though and that's sort of next on my list of things to tackle in my life is vegan and cruelty free makeup and skincare. I think it's okay to buy the cruelty free or vegan item when their parent company is not because you're putting your money or your vote into that item and if everybody did that they would stop making non-vegan, non-cruelty-free items. So I think as long as there's a demand for it and you can put your money towards those vegan items, then eventually someday I feel like all companies will be producing vegan items. I think it's just kind of inevitable. So yeah, that's how I feel about it. How do you react to interactions with meat eaters? I mean, in the beginning I was really bad about it. I would provoke things and I would make little comments and I still do every once in a while just to get a reaction out of people and let them know what they're doing but for the most part I try to stay out of it and just let people do their own thing because I find that when you come at people like that they don't really respond well to it in my experience. Um, people who are ready for it will ask questions about it and people who are not don't give a shit and it's just gonna cause problems so for the most part I just keep to myself about it in general and kind of do do my own thing, so. My favorite vegan YouTubers. I actually just filmed this video yesterday about my favorite vegan YouTubers, so I will actually link that in a card up here somewhere and also down below so you can check that out. But, spoiler alert, my favorite vegan YouTuber is probably High Carb Hannah. I absolutely adore her. I think she's so um, just interesting and I just love her personality. She's so funny, so. I would say that she's probably my favorite vegan YouTuber. So those are all the questions that I found on this tag. Uh, I had a lot of fun doing this. I think it forced me to think about things that I wouldn't normally think about. I hope you guys enjoyed this tag. It was really fun for me to do sort of relax a little bit, do something a little bit more casual and spontaneous. If you guys haven't already and you would like to be, please subscribe, hit that red button down below. I would absolutely love to have you. Please like and comment down below and let me know what you guys want to see. And of course, I will see you guys next time. Bye.